Hi everybody, today I'm going to be teaching you how to do old fashioned fried chicken. And today is September the 1st, 2012, so let's get started. Now what you want to do is you want to cover it with any type of aluminum foil that you have. I have a cheap old brand that I got from the Dollar Tree. And now you want to put it in the refrigerator and let it marinate for at least an hour. And I'll be back. Alright, so now that the meat is seasoned, you want to go ahead and make your batter. Well, I call it batter even though it doesn't have any liquid in it. It's bread comes with seasonings. Or you can go the really old fashioned route and do two eggs beaten in one bowl like this. And then you can have in another bowl like this put flour and season it. But I'm doing it my way so follow me. This brand breadcrumbs you can get it at any Winn Dixie. I have them in different flavors, but mine are plain. And please excuse my husband; he's too busy laughing. So because I'm doing so many pieces, I'm doing that much in breadcrumbs. your soulful seasoning and just sprinkle it in there kind of make like a mountain can you see that okay add just a little bit of salt because you already have salt in your chicken and you also want to add just a dash of pepper. And then you can either use your hand or you can just mix it up like this. I'm going to mix it up like this because I really don't feel like having to wash my hands again. But to each their own. And your bird comes to look like that when they're done. So when I am done um, heating my oil, I will be back. Okay, so my oil is finally ready. Um, you can check your oil in three different ways. You can check by thermometer, which I do not have. So I'm going to show you two other techniques that you can do to check your oil. One way is with a wooden spoon. Take a wooden spoon like this one. Stick it into the water into the oil and let it sit for about two or three seconds you'll start to see bubbles start to form on your um, spoon when you see those bubbles starts to form you know that your oil is hot enough now if you don't have a wooden spoon you can use this technique take your batter well breadcrumbs or flour that you are using. Take a little pinch like this and dip it straight into the oil. You see it starts to fry? That's how you know your oil is ready. So let's go get our chicken and let's get cracking. Put it into the batter and you want to take one hand and mix it up. And the other hand is to grab the chicken and put it into the batter. So, now that you're done, you want to take it and you want to shake all the excess off. Okay? And then you want to put it aside until you're going to put it in your bath, into your oil.
covered like so and your oil is ready you're gonna take them one by one and put them in the oil like this you want. Now the reason why you do this is so that the heat stays in and it actually absorbs into the chicken and also to keep your oil from splattering everywhere. Alright so at this point you want to flip your chicken now that you see that it's like a golden brown around the edges you know that that side is done. It normally takes my chicken about five to seven minutes to brown on that side and most people would use tongs for this but I don't have any so I'm using two forks so here's my technique for cooking the chicken Now you want to cook that side until it's completely done and make sure that the inside of the chicken is done as well and I'll be back. Okay, so when you're done cooking your chicken, you put it out on a plate with um, some paper towels to get rid of the excess oil and this is what mine look like. Um, so yeah, and I also want to add to this that when you're done with your breadcrumbs, what you want to do is put them in a Ziploc bag and put them in your refrigerator in a drawer so that when you're ready to cook, like frying anything again, you can use the same breadcrumbs. You don't have to throw them out. So, yeah, this is my way of doing fried chicken. I hope you guys enjoy it. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye.